Light is up, Capricorn. What's up? It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot. And I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this virtual smoke session. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you're smoking on. And if you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome. This is Mango Kush. I'm still smoking on it. Uh, well, I shouldn't say still. I've just been smoking on this for this series of videos. And it's in a Watermelon King Palm. You can see that. And I really like these. They are a little expensive or pricey. These are $2.99 for two. But yeah, I like them. I think it's a healthier version to just the alternative rather to the um, Cigarillo. So I have already shuffled these cards. Let me shuffle them one more time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is for the Capricorn Collective Capricorn Placements and <coughs> Excuse me, Cross Watcher. Um, take whatever applies. Let the rest fly. Seven of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This is somewhat, <coughs> someone could have been caught being manipulative. Something could have came out that wasn't so nice to hear. Somebody could have got caught doing something. Um, so let's see Capricorn, what's going on with you? Knight of Cups means that in reverse means that something could have been said that was very hurtful or there was some hurt feelings in this situation in the recent past. Cause hurt feelings. Someone may have some remorse, some regret. This could, there, whoever is, it could be you, it could be both of you, but whoever is upset or remorseful, it may be known. Like they, you, it could be obvious in some type of way. Either they told you, they shared this information, or someone close to them let you know that this person is pretty messed up about what happened. And it, prompted a new chapter in this situation. And Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio could be significant. Currently, you could be going through a tower moment, this Scorpio energy again, with the Three of Cups. A reconciliation could have happened bet between the two of you. Um, someone's irresponsible behavior could have caused some type of chain reaction or something to change pretty quickly. Someone could have revealed their innermost darkest secret or thought about you or vice versa that caused this unexpected change. What is this three of cups about? There could have been an argument about someone at least appearing to move on or someone feeling like they're not really satisfied or totally happy with the current state of their life. Nine of Cups to me. Someone here may be searching for the reasoning and the meaning of this breakup or this conflict that you're having.
Tell me more. Someone could have like reneged on a promise. Someone could feel like someone is abandoning their family, not reliable to the family or to the legacy or to whatever it is that was promised. That could have been a relationship that could have been, you know, someone saying, oh, I want to marry you. I want to I want to have a family with you. And it's like someone is feeling slighted. Someone is feeling like they've been manipulated, like they've been talked into some shit. And that could be re in reaction to I feel someone is, you know, telling someone yeah, you know, someone may reach out to you, Capricorn, and be like, you know, I'm I'm good, but I could be better if we could work things out or if I could be with you. And there's like this thought of, no, like you, you made a promise and you didn't keep it. So why should I believe you now? How does this person feel about you? As far as how they feel, Capricorn, they feel like you stop putting in effort. You're not pulling your weight. They could even feel like even in the past, this was you, like you were not matching their inner energy. You're not putting in as much effort as they were. They could be at a point where they're just frustrated and they don't have any control over it. Over it so it could be frustrating. They could be over it. Um, someone could feel that you led them to believe, like I said before, led them to believe something wasn't true. At least that's how they feel, Capricorn. Um, that you sold them a dream, maybe. Why do they feel this way? So the energy that is really crowning your person, Capricorn, is like I said before, this energy feels like you promised them something. You promised them a new beginning. You promised them, you know, things would be different this time. Something like that. An Aquarius, Leo, Taurus or Scorpio could be significant. It's a lot of Scorpio energy here. And so that tells me that the two of you are, are still emotionally attached. But, you know, someone has hurt feelings. Someone may just be to the point where they're like, okay, I've got to let this go. <clears throat> the near future, we have hesitant energy. This is also Aries energy, not being able to move forward, hesitant to do something, not really sure if something is, is safe to pursue. The obstacle is that someone may decide to walk away if that hasn't happened already. There also is a feeling of resentment here that you walked away or your person walked away. Outcome is seems to be someone still feeling like they've been manipulated. A promise was not kept. You played mind games with someone or you, you know, led them to believe a dream. Or this is how you feel, Capricorn. What is this King of Swords in reverse? A Leo could be significant. This is something that could have happened in Leo season. A few months back, like in August, somewhere in there, July. 
you could have kids with this person or some of you you're starting to feel like this person trapped you with a child or you know promising to have a child with you you feel like maybe that was just a game Some of you are also dealing with someone who maybe gaslight you or they don't they talk over you like they don't allow you to give your point of view. You know, they, they try to over talk you so you can't talk. Aquarius energy here with the star. Some of you could feel that this person is your opposite. You could also feel that this person was just into you for the sex, like they just look at you like a sexual object. But there's still someone who's holding on to hope. What is this star about? Yeah, someone still wants a victory with the outcome. Someone still wants a victory. Um, they still want attention from you or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. So, yeah, the outcome is, you know, even though there was something messed up that happened in the past, there's at least one person who is wanting to give this another shot. There may, like I said, be communication coming up with this person where um, it's either a call to like in the conflict, in the distance, or an argument could happen if, you know, someone says, calls them out on this promise that was not kept or not taking accountability for why this relationship ended. So I'm going to draw some message oracle cards from spirit here for additional messages. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that notification bell, by the way. Thank you so much. Okay. So what is this? You need a vacation. It's the first card. You need a vacation. Some of you just need to distance yourself from the situation. Maybe that's what you've been doing. Maybe you do need a, a change of scenery. Maybe you need to get out and, you know, get out of your daily routine, go out to a bar, something like that. You know, make yourself available to meet people. They are lying to you. So, like I said before, there seems to be some type of secret that someone feels that the other didn't make good on. A, a promise wasn't kept. Someone feels like they have been manipulated in this situation. I think about us all the time. Like I said, someone still has hope that this can turn around. Um, they still want attention from you. They still want victory with you. And tap into your creative energy. So, the sun is Leo energy, it's fifth house energy, it's creative expression. It's also, um, you know, the same energy used to create life, used to get pregnant. So if some of you are missing this person sexually, some of you are being um, urged to, well, the collective, the Capricorn collective is being, thank you spirit for correcting me. The Capricorn collective is being, asked to transmute that energy into something creative, you know, cook, write, dance, 
you know, sing, you know, do something creative to place that those urges elsewhere. So, yeah. So let's talk about this reading. Drop down in the comments. Leave me. Um, let me know if this has resonated with you again. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.